Nokia has already begun teasing their October 22nd event. HTC is already working on giving us an octa-core processor their own way. And believe it or not, Android celebrates its fifth birthday. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I wonder when OEMs will get the point. We need octa-core batteries, not octa-core anything else. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Samsung has now announced their new ISO cell sensor for smartphone cameras. And apparently the reason why this is better than BSI sensors is because it allows 30% better color accuracy than what we currently get in certain cameras in the market, which we usually call washed out among other things. Samsung plans to be deploying this technology very soon, hopefully in the next Galaxy lineup, probably next year. And we wonder if other OEMs will also jump in the wagon as, you know, Samsung sells everything. And this is obviously a new variation to the current Sony sensors that are pretty much flocking the market. Now let's move over to a company that's famous for their camera technology as Nokia has now been teasing their October 22nd event and this is where we expect their Lumia 1520 tablet to be announced among other probable smartphones like the Lumia 929 that we've seen for Verizon. But in an even more interesting note, Microsoft has also begun teasing their Windows Phone 8.1 software. And within that, you'll notice that there is no portion of the device that says Nokia. Everything says Lumia and just Lumia. And it even has the Windows logo with Lumia Lumia on the side and no Nokia anywhere to be seen. So it is interesting to see what we will get in this October 22nd event and hopefully it does involve Nokia. Now a company that is not at all famous for their camera technology is Motorola and such is the case of the Moto X where we have confirmed in our review the photos look washed out and just terrible. But apparently the company is working hard on fixing this up to the point where they just launched a software update to fix this problem and we've got some samples that look amazing just like every sample from every camera out there until we actually review it. But anyway, stay tuned for this update. Apparently it will reach the mobile customers first. And let's wonder when the rest of the carriers will get it as well. Now a company that is apparently still doing bad right now is HTC up to the point where the company is already predicting losses for their next quarter results because apparently they're dealing with more shortages when it comes to supplies. The same story that we've heard all year with their HTC One lineup, uh, which is really interesting but even more interesting is the fact that even though this company is having supply issues it's already being rumored to be working on an HTC one with an octa core processor and three gigs of RAM there are leaked screenshots of this phone already in the wild so no supplies new octa core processor uh, why don't we get an octa core battery while they're at it and finally, for the hot news of the day, yes, Android turns five years old today. It seems like if it were yesterday when Sergey Brin came on this YouTube video, didn't shower, didn't even comb his hair, and told us about the whole Android project that they were working on, which eventually changed because initially it was more like a Blackberry-style phone that changed when the iPhone was launched and pretty much delayed the whole project almost a full year. People back then were really skeptical of Android and it eventually became the driving force of the mobile industry. Up to the point where we have a refrigerator that runs Android and gives you the Twitter feed and just about everything. So make sure you read Taylor Martin's full editorial on the whole evolution of Android and everything that changed over the last five years. And that leads me to a couple of questions to you today. Which was the device that you were using in 2008? What is your current smartphone? And what was your first Android smartphone, if any? In my particular case, back in 2008, I was rocking a Motorola Q9H from AT&T. Uh, my first Android phone was a Nexus One, and my current smartphone is an LG G2. Leave us a comment down below. We really like to see what devices you used before, what devices you have now, and what you think of Android over the years. Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.